Martin, in my search among all different kinds of explanations for reality, I came across the speculation that maybe our universe is a simulation, a fake. So some people take it very seriously, and I began to realize that in order to have a comprehensive look at reality, maybe that's something we should consider. You agree? Well, it's, it's a bit flaky, but it's a fascinating idea. <laughs> and I think it really raises questions of uh, what are the limits of the powers of computers. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, being an astronomer myself, um, I realise the importance of computers because we can't do experiments on stars and galaxies, but we can have a virtual universe in our computer and imagine what happens if you crash galaxies together or evolve stars, etc. So we can simulate some features of the universe in a gross sense in our computers. And we have to ask, if computers were to be vastly more powerful, what could you simulate? And that then, of course, uh, raises the question, could we ourselves be in such a simulation uh, in some sort of computer which is being produced by some very, very advanced civilization and that civilization of course itself may be computer-based because it could be that when we get beyond the human stage it will be a silicon-based intelligence which takes over from organic intelligence but it's not crazy to believe that uh, at some time in the far future there could be computers which could do a simulation of uh, a fairly large fraction of uh, a world now, the argument goes from there that if it's conceivable that it could happen at some future time, mm -hmm. that at that time it would become so prevalent so that if you look backwards, the likelihood of any situation we're in would have a high likelihood that you're a simulation because if it could be done, it would be done in enormous numbers of times. Th that's right. So if you imagine that uh, um, intelligence develops as fast in the next uh, five billion years as it has in the five billion years that have led from uh, no life to uh, us, then indeed you could well imagine that happening. And then, as you say, there would be more simulated universes than the original one, and so why aren't we among the simulated ones? And uh, I think that's an interesting speculation. Uh, of course, how could we be sure we aren't in one? I think some people have said that it would be an imperfect simulation and so we would expect very sort of glitches uh, where the uh, laws of nature do display irregularities we can't account for. Um, but uh, uh, it's an interesting speculation. And can, can we go further than that? Or that's... Well, I suppose the only way we can go further is that in the multiverse concept, we could perhaps imagine that there are other universes where the um, laws are even more propitious for the emergence of complexity and where it would be easier for something to uh, develop to the complexity of a supercomputer than it is on in this universe. And that would slightly strengthen the conclusion that we ought to be in a simulation rather than in a real thing. And uh, we're, we shouldn't be going about our lives assuming that we're a simulation, I would assume. We should take ourselves and our Earth pretty seriously. I think we should, although uh, people have said we might want to behave slightly differently if we thought we were in a simulation where those who are doing the simulation might pull the plug out if they get too bored. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is one additional critical factor that we need to consider, and that is, in principle, can the nature of consciousness and self-consciousness be subject to simulation? Mm. Well, this is a very deep question, of course, whether consciousness is an automatic emergent property beyond a certain level of uh, complexity, right. of cerebration, as it were, right. or whether it's separate. But recognizing that if we get to that step, we still haven't answered the final question. Well, th th that's right, but that may, may be the kind of question which it will demand a superhuman intelligence to understand. Which could be forever beyond our capacity. Mm -hmm. Yes.